Yes. So I'm a postdoc. I do oceanography. Um, there's been a lot of really good work in geosciences about gender minorities and work on that with our trust in equity. But there hasn't been as much focus on trans issues and we've had a great intro to identity-based things. So a bunch of people I knew decided like, we should probably, you know, write a paper about, hey, you should think about these things before you put us on boats and you run into this problem because we've had these issues come up and we're sort of tired of them happening. So think about them in advance. Anyways, oceanography go on vessels, um, like the small ones, like the cars on our buns bigger than the Kilmoana on the right. Um, most of these are run through a UNOS program. So that's sort of working with them to try to get better things going on. Uh, harassment is, occurs. We have some studies from the UK for women. We have some studies for geosciences that are queer in general, but not like oceanography. Speak to the choir here. So moving on to safety issues, in regards to specifically trans people. As we just discussed, if you have an extra marker in some countries, if you fly in there, you'll get arrested. I have a friend who one of the cruises left from Tahiti and went to Peru. And it's, there's one passport office for all of Indonesia for the U.S. And they spent a week talking to them, figuring out if they flew into there, would they get arrested immediately? They would not. But it took them a week to do that themselves. Right. The other issues being that when you sort of fill out their little form, you have to put in a photo and you, like the name on your passport and, you know, what the gender is on your passport. And often, you like, first, depending on what state you're born in, you have to be sterilized, change those things, and it's just hard to deal with. So, like, putting in better ways to do that would be nice. Finally, um, here is a photo for that first boat you saw, the uh, Carson, of the berths that we were in. So, the aisle to the bottom bunk, and Ma was the top bunk, and that was the space we had for our room, right? So, it's pretty tight, pretty small, and you spend, like, this was a week, but, you know, it's not a bigger room for three months, but that's, like, the amount of space you have with other people. So it's sort of important to have those worked out in advance and not be like comfortable with your people, et cetera. Um, the big takeaway, this is just I want to leave this slide out actually for like more than 30 seconds, is basically these tables of like things that you should probably do or not do uh, for common issues that happen to us, or we know people that happen to us at sea, and these are in a paper, you can look it up. You should just, it's in the resources list for this. Um, We also have one for institutional level, right? Because we really like to get the shipper operators who dictate how the things run and you know as well to sort of enforce these and have like better, more inclusive practices. Do we want to see this for any longer? Cool. That's it. <laughs>